Hi everyone, Trevor Tartaglia, product specialist here at Expo. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the major upgrades that we brought with the OTDR D-Series lineup. That's the swap out connector, which is going to be available in both the FTB and the Max testers. The swap out connector, as you can see here, is a bit externalized and we can change the connector manually. So by unscrewing the screw at the top of the device, we're going to be able to pull out the connector and it can be changed as one module. As you can see, the internal connector itself is going to be an APC connector and the external connector can be either a UPC or an APC connector. One of the big advantages with that is that even a UPC external connector can be used with IOLM, whereas in the past, if we had a UPC connector, we had to have an APC to UPC adapter core. But now even UPC devices can use IOLM because the internal connector is going to be APC. To reinstall the connector itself or a new connector, all we have to do is slide it in the module and then tighten up the screw and we are ready to use our OTDR. For the MAX tester, it's going to be the same procedure. The reasons why we might want to change our swap out connector is if the external connector has become damaged from overuse, uh, from multiple connections and disconnections. So we can change the connector itself and it's going to minimize the number of connections on the internal connector, which is where the calibration is done. If we change the swap out connector, we do not change the calibration date. So it's not reset, it's not nullified. If I have to calibrate my internal connector in six months, I still have to calibrate in six months, even if I've changed my connector itself. For the max tester to install, we just have to slide it in and then tighten up the screw once again. The reason we might want to change the swap out connector is if the external connector has been damaged from multiple uh, connections or just from overuse, then we can swap the connector without having to affect our calibration date. If the internal connector becomes damaged, that's when we need to send the device into a service center to change and calibrate the internal connector itself. For this reason, we don't want to do multiple changes from UPC to APC, UPC to APC. If we change the connector every day, we're going to end up damaging the internal connector, uh, which requires a recalibration.